During a public hearing by Parliamentary Standing Committee on Public Accounts, the Lands Reform Ministry had to account why the 42 units in the Karas region remained unoccupied for three years. The permanent secretary in the ministry, Peter Amtenya, said the units could not be allocated to landless Namibians at the time because there was no water. He said 12 boreholes were drilled but no water was found and thus the ministry had to find ways to install water pipes to pump water from the nearest towns to the farming units before people could be resettled on the units. Amtenya further had to explain the slow processing of leasing agreement as only 265 lease agreements were issued while there were 5,000 resettled farmers. However, Chairperson of the Parliamentary Standing Committee, Mike Havekotora, said the Permanent Secretary should provide more clarity to the committee why it took three years to resettle people to the units and why the ministry bought farms which had no access to water. The chairperson thus called for a second meeting to give an opportunity to the ministry to respond and provide clarity. The committee also wanted the ministry to explain the slow implementation process of the land reform process, group resettlement and the measures the ministry would take to deal with the challenges related to the productivity of resettled farmers.